What is going on YouTube? I just got me a huge ass haul of comic books. I just got a hundred and five, I guess you could say, older back issues. And all of them were 50 cents each. Now these are, to me, these are way worth more than 50 cents each. Now, I did like pay $50 for all of these, but these are $50 well worth it. Because if I were to go to my average comic book shop, then these would be like, I don't know, three bucks each, you know? But fuck it, let me just show you what I got. I got some Generation X comics, you know? Uh, I got a lot in order, you know? I got 22, these are, I actually got some that I really needed. So let me just throw these on the floor. You know, I'm just going to show you the covers, because there are tons, and I love Generation X, I'm actually trying to complete all 75 issues, you know, so I got that, Secret of M, and then I got a Christmas special, and I got another special, then I got the 95 special, I have 96, bam. Now I got an Amazing Spider-Man one. Then I got this one, which I had as a kid, which I don't have anymore. But it has a hologram, which you can't see. But when I was a kid, I ripped this hologram off and used it as a card. But I got that. I mean, all these all these issues are in, like, mint condition. 50 cents? This one's thick as hell, too. I got Infinity War number four. Then I got Gambit number one. I got Gambit one through four. No, I got those. And then I got this old one, The Defenders. Then I got Wolverine, pretty much 2 through 21, I guess. Let me just show you. Show you the covers. 4, 5, 6, 7. Then it kind of skips. Then I got 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And 22. Got all those Wolverines. Then I got all these Fantastic Fours. 318. 319. Uh, 66, 67, 69, and 70. All these comics are from the 80s and 90s, as you can tell. We got some Captain Americas. I didn't get too many Captain Americas, but figured I'd get some because these are old school. I love these. I love these old school comics. These would be. These would cost a good five dollars each in my comic shop, but I found this at an old ass bookstore, all in mint. And then the biggest thing about this whole haul was all of these Thor comics. Yes, these are all Thor comics I got. All of them are from the 80s and 90s, and they're all consistent. It's like 3.39 to I don't know what it is, but let me just show you the covers. And I'll just go through all of them because there's too much to show. Once again, these are all in like mint condition. These are all like perfect. Going through them. I figured, you know, I buy all these Thor comics since they're like, um, they're gonna make like a Thor movie, and I figured I'd brush up on my Thor readings before the movie came out, because we all know these movies are gonna be garbage, dude. These Marvel movies are like bad as hell. And I'm like, look at this, I'm like still going, dude. I'm still going. Look, I even skipped one there. See, like, I'm just keep going. Keep on doing this. Look, he's even a frog in this joint. Look at that. Ah, bam, frog. More Thor. Oh, let's get another one. Look at that one right there. You got that. Another Thor. Some more Thor. More Thor. Thor with a beard. Thor with more beards. Thor beard. Thor. 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 And this is the last one where he's fighting Hulk. This is fucking legit, dude. This is legit. Anyways, that's it, guys. Just want to show you my huge ass haul of comics I just got. Just made my Marvel collection more legit. That's right. Thanks for watching. Peace out.